It is finally here. My Charizard Ultra Premium Collection. We're going to see what we get out of this. Comment right up. Also, before we get further into the video, I'm going to be doing a giveaway at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. You don't want to miss out. Hey guys, while I quickly go through this unboxing part, I picked mine up for $115 off Lucky Pool's cards. So if you're having trouble finding one, uh, maybe check them out. It's not sponsored or anything like that. It just happened to be where I found it in one of the community discords that I'm a part of. Um, if you hear a bird throughout the video, I'm really sorry. I'm house-sitting for my aunt, and her parrot was just going a little bit crazy in the background during this uh, shooting. All right, guys, here it is in all its splendor. That, uh, that orange there is pretty nice. So it's the blue. So we'll just pull that off. This turns like this. This is a magnetic little top here. And it opens up to reveal our goodies. So right here in front is the playmat. Go ahead and pull that out and take a look at it real quick. All right, let's get this bad boy out of here. This is one of the prettiest mats there is. I've got the wide angle on, so we'll be able to see it in its gloriousness. Sorry, more like that. There we go, look at that art. All right, guys, so as you know, we've got to open these up and see what's in here. So on this far right side, we've got our Charizard sleeves. Very cool. You got your dice. Pretty heavy. Pretty nice. And you got these little markers here. Pretty cool. That's it for that box. All right, in this middle one, we have pretty much just packs. Oh, all right. You get your necessary V-Star badge. How unfortunate. Got a few packs here. We'll look into that. And you get your, uh, your Charizard coin. Sick. And the one you guys have all been waiting for. Here are our promo cards that are probably in terrible condition, but let's let's be hopeful. And another eight packs. All right, here goes moment of truth. Let's see the quality of these cards. There's a code card for you guys. So here we have our Charizard V. Man, look at that shine. Okay. And then we got our V Max. Uh, sorry about the pair in the background. And there is our V Star. All right. All right. And as to be expected, these cards did have some centering issues. So if we look at the V here, there's definitely some top to bottom issues there. Not the worst. Moving on to the V star. This one's a bit more dramatic, a little worse. And the V max, unfortunately being my favorite, is definitely off center left to right there. That is, pretty pretty evident but that's fine uh, I wanted to collect them I just want to have them you know what they get as far as a PSA grade or anything like that even if I send them off uh, is fine with me I just kind of want to have these because they look great all right as far as packs go you get the uh, one vivid voltage three evolving skies four fusion strikes Three Brilliant Stars, three Astral Radiance, and two Lost Origins. All right, guys, here we are with Vivid Voltage and the old chunk of chew on the art. Let's see what we get out of here. I mentioned in another opening, I really ever opened these because kind of recently just started 
it's back into Pokemon, so I don't see too many of these, but we'll see what we get out of this as we come up on a Reverse Leon, all right, and into a Beedrill. All right, the packs only get better from here as we're going into Evolving Skies, our first of three packs. So let's see what we get. Can we get a full art? Probably not. The most I've pulled out of this is a V. As we get a reverse Teddy Ursa into an Ampharos. Time for our second pack of Evolving Skies. If you guys hear a parrot in the background, I'm sorry. I am house sitting for my aunt and taking care of her parrot. So she's back there squawking away like she, you know, I don't know. Don't really know where to go there. Seeing a lot of these cards as repeats already from before. And our reverse is a crustal into a Kyurem hollow. Nice. Last pack of Evolving Skies and our last chance to pull a Moonbryon, at least for this opening. If we pull a Moonbryon, I'll probably just stop the video right there as we get some fire energy. Can we get a fire pool to go with that? Go ahead and drop an F down in the uh, comments as we get a Tropius Reverse into a Leafeon V. There we go. Moving on now into Fusion Strike. Let's see if maybe we can get that Gengar or even that Espeon. Oh, look at that, that's in backwards. Gotta love when those code cards come in backwards, right? I already filmed my RCS Ultra Premium Collection opening. That'll be coming up probably after this video. But I uh, had the same issue there as we get a reverse Snom into a Vicavolt. Fusion Strike Pack 2. And uh, I went ahead and checked this because this code card was backwards. And there was another bit of an anomaly there, so you can see I already kind of did the card trick here, but we got some weird stuff going as there's a ton of trainer cards in this pack. Very strange. And there is our, sorry about that, reverse phalanx into a palisand. Fusion Strike pack three. Still no luck. The hits have kind of been a little, little shy here. Whoops. It's a... Uh, Go through here, do that nice and quick. Get some fighting energy. Let's see what we get out of the third pack. So we get a bear scooter into a Excel Gore. Last pack of Fusion Strike, and a bit of a spoiler alert for a video that's coming up after this one. The RCS UPC definitely gave me some better returns. Was that? Two code cards? Not even going to ask. What else can be expected from the Pokemon Company guys, right? Very inconsistent from pack to pack, it seems, these days. As we get a Halucha reverse into Latios. One of my favorite Pokemon. Moving on to Brilliant Stars, we are eight packs in and we've got one hit. But as I mentioned in my Is the Charizard UPC Worth It video, it's uh, it kind of depends. You're honestly better off just buying the Charizard cards and then buying some packs you want or just some singles from some other stuff because so far these pulls have been abysmal as we get a... What is that? Mochim? Hmm. I've never seen that card. And a Grim Snarl. Brilliant Stars Pack 2. Not expecting much out of this. And uh, I'm sorry, guys, for the uh, lack of hits here. I really wish I could conjure some kind of excitement for you, but this is this is just part of the experience. This is the, uh, the hit or miss aspect of some of these products as we get a Weasel Reverse into a not even hollow Mewtwo. Last pack of Brilliant Stars here, and I can tell you for the $131 I paid for this, including shipping, I could have bought all three Charizard cards 
as well as almost a complete set of the full art evolutions from Evolving Skies. So there's an idea as to um, you know what can happen here as we get a Monferno into a Hollow Torterra. As we move on into Astral Radiance, obviously the goal is to pull around $60 in uh, hits from these, as that's about how much money is worth there is in packs. But we are in need of a miracle if we're going to come anywhere near that, including all the bulk here. You're probably looking at about probably four dollars so far as we get ourselves a cleavor and a hisuian bravery three packs left as we get into our second astral radiance pack we might be doing something special here at the end of the video so i would stay tuned i have had no luck but perhaps one of you guys may be a big winner at least one of us will come away happy out of this Let's see what we get. Oh, an Orangaroo V. Man, big hitter. Our window for redemption is rapidly closing as we are in Lost Origins now. This is our second to last pack. What will happen? Can we get at least one more hit out of this box? Maybe even a banger. How about one of those black and gold cards? As we get an Aerodactyl V-Star. All right. Something reasonable. All right. The pain is almost over. As we are in our last pack from the UPC. One final Lost Origins. One final chance to get something good. Are we going to end with a hit? Or are we going to end with a dud? We've had plenty of duds already. We could really use a hit. But let's see how we get. Dugong. Well, that sums it up. With all the packs out of the way, here's what we ended up getting. Here are our three hollows. Those don't really matter too much. And as far as our actual hits, we got a Leafeon V. We're going to set that aside for now. An Orangaroo V. And an Aerodactyl V Star. Stay tuned for that giveaway. Alright guys, in celebration of reaching 50 subscribers thus far, this is the time of this recording, and opening this UPC, I'm going to be giving away this Leafeon V card as it is a duplicate for me, and I want to give something to, back to you guys for your support. All you need to do to enter to win this Leafeon V card is subscribe to the channel if you're not already, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and leave a comment down below. Let me know. Did you pick up a Charizard UPC? Are you still looking for one? Or are you going to pass? And I will pick one lucky winner from the comment section down below. With that out of the way, ladies and gentlemen, I want to let you know that if you want to see more Pokemon openings such as this, there'll be a playlist linked right here. And if you want to see other videos such as talking about the Charizard UPC and whether it's worth it, there'll be a playlist right here. I also have the Arceus Ultra Premium Collection coming up next week, a week from the upload of this video, so stay tuned for that. Do please subscribe and let me know down below again. Is this something you're getting or something you're passing on or something you've already opened? And maybe let me know what you got out of it. Thanks, guys. I hope you have a great Thanksgiving and safe holiday season.